Okay, so we're back with Path to 100, and I had finished up my quest last night or last time I was here. So time to continue on and see what there is to see still in this area. So let's look at the map quick. Still a fair amount left. And it's going to be pretty simple today. I'm going to play for about an hour. Oh god. And be slightly frustrated with Facebook notifications. And we're just going to full clear this area and see where we get from there on. And see what we end up getting. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. Hopefully we'll get a few more levels done. And see what there is to see. Uh, I hope to be maybe close to the end of this act by the end of tonight. Uh, I might be able to push through the rest of the act. I don't remember if there's another big uh, uh, quest hub area like this after I finish this one up. I think there is. I think Path of the Alchemist is a pretty long act. Or on the, in the trail, following the trail, whatever this act is called. But, so we're dealing with Ratlins. I th we're going to be dealing with them for a very long time. Ooh, treasure loot up there. And we got some enemies up there. Nothing special. Okay, I don't have anything going on. I didn't forget uh, anything major. Which is good. Oh, fellow walker. Oh, rune collar. You can raise undead. I really don't want you to continue living. Oh, here we go. Here's a path down. Let's quick just deal with these Bratlins. I think I had seen something back this way that I was interested in. Also, we got a fishing hole. Eh, let's fish a little bit. I caught nothing because I forgot how the minigame kind of works. So once it's all the way in on the center, that's when I... That's when you uh, click the link, or the little uh, fish hook. That's the word I'm looking for. And do I have any of what I want? I don't have any TNT. I can't go uh, fishing the the best way possible. That's right, tab no longer shows, or doesn't show the minimap in this game. So, let's head on over the bridge. Little mini area. Yeah, I'll take them on over. Oh, promising fishing hole. I forget what. Ooh! Prismatic moray. Training collar. Um, ooh, yes, I will give you that. And I'll give you that. And I'll quick socket up the rest of my weapons. And let's see if we get an out anything else good. Yeah. I'll keep note that that's there. Another promising fishing hole. Oh good, I shattered your shield finally. Mana potion. Did I miss anything on this side? Not really. 
Okay. Now I can continue on my path. Yeah, that works there. Oh god, Facebook. Stop being Facebooky. Don't like it when you do that, Facebook. So let's go ahead and keep killing these things. Hey, they explode very violently. And at the moment, I'm just looking to see if there are any more quests, any dungeons. I don't think I got the golden chest and golden key for this area. So that's also on my list. Um, if I did, and I, I don't remember because this was a week since last one? Or since I last did the uh, Path 100 video? Oh, here we go. Champion Rattlin. Yeah. Ow. That was me mo mousing over the map. I think what I just picked up was a heater shield. Yes, it was. Okay. Mm. Let's see. You go to my pet inventory. Yeah. Let's dump all this into my pet inventory, except for that. Here we go. Shady character. Okay. Well, you can are considering you offer a really good pistol. Yes, I I will do this quest. So this quest is to rouse the Asterian spirit. So I really hope I have this in 720p mode. Because if I don't, I'm going to feel kind of bad. Is that the roused? There's one. Okay. All right, it's I kill one of these named things each for each of them. There's another one. Ooh, green shard something or other. So that impulse of picking things up without looking at them spawns from playing some amount of uh, Diablo 2 and uh, whatever the Diablo 2 mod was. Uh, Meridian? I think it was Meridian. But basically I played it with a few of my friends and it turned into who can grab the loot fastest wins. Which, uh, is why I pick up loot very fast in my games, even if loot is player-specific. It's an unfortunate habit, because I just end up picking up things I don't need to pick up, but... It's, uh... It's an unfortunate side effect of what we've... or how I play games with my friends. Come on. So I might not get close to the end of this act. Uh, I'm going to be doing... Holy cr... Ooh, was that... What was that called? Ah, Mysterious Polearm. That is going to be in my... My... Ooh, I'm going to hold on to that ring. That's going to go in my shared stash, though, is what I'm trying to get out. Yeah, I'll equip that for no extra health. Quick explore that. Mm, let's head into the bone gallery. 
I'm going to quick tad away. Stream shouldn't be interrupted. And I'm going to quick look at it. Uh, okay, that was what's going on. And, alright, we're back. Temple Steve's Retrieve the Rosa Mor Mortis. I think this is the one I was thinking of last time involving a boss-style enemy. But we are definitely going to full clear this dungeon. And break all of the rules of D&D, &D, or at least a few of the prime rules of not opening the sarcophagi. Hmm. Oh, that's as far back as I can go. Ooh, an identify scroll. Good, need those. And let's keep... Let's keep beating up things. Ooh, four gold. I feel like I'm playing ARAM and trying to grab health when I go run away from a fight to grab something. Oh. Okay. My normal complaints of enemy variety come up again here. I understand that this thing is supposed to be a crypt and... Ooh, all oh, vile gnashers. Supposed to be guarded by powerful undead or semi-powerful semi undead. But... Just some variety? Skeletons of different monsters? That would be nice. What is trying to kill me from range? Also, teleporting vile gnashers is horrible. Unidentified great hammer, no use to me. Skeletal pyromancers. Oh, okay. Do you? Oh yeah, you explode when you die. Fun fact, some things in games explode when they die. Or some things in games die because they explode. Okay, acid gels. Yeah, triggered some zombies. Now I get to play the wait for my mana to regen naturally game. Yep. Asking ye shall receive, even though I didn't really ask. I did get my mana back, though. Alright, open the sarcophagi. And... let's see... Ooh, that was a bad position to be in. That was... that would almost be a game ender if I was playing hardcore mode. Well, thankfully, I am not hardcore. I enjoy the premise of hardcore mode. I I love roguelikes. I love all that, but the investment is completely different when the game isn't based around the concept of roguelike elements. Ooh, ow, bah! I'll use that if I ever build a uh, tank. Best class to play a ta or to play tank with is the uh, the engineer, in my opinion. Works wonderfully. I mean, you get minions, you get a whole bunch of the bulwark uh, passive perks. Basically, you just incentivize actually having a uh, what are those things called? Ha incentivize having a shield and high armor. Okay. Oh, my mana's low. Shift Q? No. I don't remember how to give my pet a potion. Hmm, let's see what's back here. 
Mimic! Die, Mimics. Pain crusher. Oh god, oh god, he is a pain crusher. Ow. He crushed my pain. Um... I'll pay the 10%. Yep, that's a game ender if I was playing hardcore. Thankfully I'm not, but... Let's see... Inventory pet... to that. Okay. And go back to town. While I go blindly stumble into an area and probably die miserably. So, let's see. Alright, here we go. Freezing. Freezing is not a fun property. I can't think of any game where I enjoy fighting freezing enemies. It's... Uh, it's not fun in Diablo 3. Well, not going to get started on that, but yeah, it's not fun in Diablo 3. Um, it's not fun here. It's just kind of frustrating. Right, you summon undead. Come on. Give me the dual shot chance. Executes are so much fun and so satisfying. Soon my pet will return, which is a good thing. Yeah, I get it. You don't have enough mana. You can... You can deal with that character. Don't care. So, that's the f way down to the next floor, which I need to go to for the quest. So, let's finish up exploring the floor. Let's see what else there happens to be. Because I'm also going to, at some point, probably town portal and buy some stuff after, uh, after I finish clearing out the floor. Because I desperately need some stuff. Like any type of potion. Mostly mana potions, surprisingly. Um... Mana potions, health potions... Actually, I think that's about it. I mean, maybe I'll check to see if there's some new gear available, but... Not really much else other than that. Hey! Oh, yep, yeah, there's another fun feature. If you level up with unidentified items in your bag, they auto-identify. Right, which... Yeah, I'll deal with it. So that means I can equip the ring. I'll equip the green, or equip it over the green ring. And um, I will take you over that one. And transfer over. All of these. Now you do more damage, you get in the main hand. Ooh. New, another rare ring. Which is pretty awesome. 
And we got another mini event, which is just going to be me killing these guys. And being horribly, horribly out of health potions. Okay. Come on. <laughs> yes, you are. Alright. Waypoint portal. Mysterious Enclave. Let's go grab some stuff. Yeah, I'll turn in later. Definitely gonna equip those. Definitely going to equip those. Um, and I will hold on to that. There's my stash. Transfer those items in there. Huh. Doesn't look like I can use any of those yet. Except for the boomstick. I put points in a Kimbo, didn't I? Let me quick grab this. And I'll put those in here. No, I didn't. Okay. Well, I believe for now I'm actually going to use the boomstick. Then let's talk to you. Um, let's buy a bunch of these. Let's buy 20. And I'll turn to my quest once I've finished up the zone area. So, let's go take my favorite weapon for a test spin. So I'm using a shotgun now. A shotgun now. Alright, you Prando screwheads, listen up. Yes! The shotgun is so satisfying. The wireframe effect is really nice when you go in behind a wall where you normally wouldn't be able to see. So let's quick look at what it's got. 30, or 30 knockback units, 4% critical hit chance, minus 3 armor per hit, 4% increased gold, plus 3 mana, plus 1 meter to its range, no, oh. <laughs> plus one meter to ranges that don't apply, 10% fire damage, 3% chance that the target flees for 12 seconds, 6 poison damage, 5% chance to poison, 40 poison damage over 5 seconds. Yeah. That's actually pretty fun. And there's only a little bit left before I head down to the next floor. Which should be the, uh... The end, oop, no, the end of, uh, or the last floor in this dungeon. I don't think we start seeing, like, three or four floor dungeons for a while, actually. So the one thing I should note about my shotgun is it's, uh, it's the same drawback that normal shotguns have. It's kind of hard to fire, and by that I mean it's slow. Now, there are things like combat shotguns and all that, but in this case, it's just kind of very slow. Okay, we're done with this floor. And... I'm 
it's just it gives plus 16 mana. Okay. Let's look at our arcane statistics while we run back. 122 damage per second. Not bad. It's got a pretty slow attack speed, but I can live. More docks, or more drocks, whatever that name was. Okay. Lone Vile Nasher. <laughs> and oh god, what is this? I'm not playing Toho. That was a fun group of enemies. Let's open the chest. And kill the Pale Shambler, quick. Here we go. Let's click the Mysterious Skeleton and see what happens. Now we get into a mini gauntlet. There we go. There's the boss enemy. So this is more doc or more Drox. He's just oh god, he's gonna do that stomping attack, a spray that spawns uh, the blight slugs, and a normal swap or swat that one. And he yep, he is electrified. His stomp style attack has a knockback, otherwise it's not really that impressive. Yep, completed the quest. And there's still a few enemies spawning. So, we got the item we needed. Let's quick loot everything. Well, that was really un unfulfilling trap. It is a small complaint I have, is that the traps really aren't, you know, that terrifying. But we're back to the surface. So let's see what's going on up there. Hmm. Uh, oh, there we go. You know, the reason I did that quest was because I wanted this pistol. Yeah, I'll grab the pet tag. And the, the, the fame is nice. Okay. Let's transfer over all of this stuff, even including the pistols. If it's not identified, it'll stay in my inventory. Okay. So now back to exploring the rest of the area. And now I'm thoroughly overweaponed. I don't want to say overgeared, because I do have a lot of lacking spots in my gear, but my weapon is probably top tier for what I'm doing. Which is really nice, actually. I mean, it's nice not having to really worry about my weapon. It's a level 13 weapon. It should last a few more levels, especially considering it's a legend or a unique. Oh, that it's so satisfying too. Chug potion, receive victory. Although I kind of have a problem with that. I mean, it is... There is no, um... Optimization. There's no, you know... WoW-esque management minigame to the game. It's just chug potions and press buttons. Which I can deal with. I mean... 
That style of play is not really for everyone. I personally really like it, but that's just me. Ooh, lucky coin. And that was all that little mini event was for. It gets you a tiny little island of loot. Okay. Now, let's head up this way. Let's see what there is to see. Okay. So there's a little tie-in here. And that appears to be most of that area. I don't think there's too much more, although I've said that already. Hmm. Oh, all of the numbers are so beautiful. Ooh, fame increase. I guess I got it from killing the champion. Huh. I guess fame increase is also... Um, increase that. But I'm not going to invest in that. I'm going to keep investing in poison burst. There we go, there's the bitter spite. I knew I hadn't gotten the key yet. So in each every in each major area there is going to be one bitter spite and one golden chest. That's one thing you can always rely on when you're doing the main story. Which is a really nice thing. I greatly enjoy the the addition. It's a lot of fun tracking it down. I mean, yes, for some people it's viewed as grid searching the game, the movie, the game, but honestly, I love it. It's an incentive to go everywhere. I'm also walking by it, I'm completely and totally aware of that, I'm just going to be thorough and grab everything else. I also really enjoy killing things with a shotgun, it's just very satisfying. That little area can stay unrevealed. And let's head on down. And by down, I mean up to this area. treasure alcove is really nice. Hey, there's a skeleton. Okay. Let's head up here and see what's up here. Just two urns. Oh, now a bunch of urns. That's nice. No interesting loot. Okay. Shrine of Skill Mastery. What does the Shrine of Skill Mastery give? Is it just cool reduced mana costs? Well, we'll find that out in a second. Mind if I... Okay. Ow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well then. Let's open the golden chest. And that was kind of lacking. But, you win some, you lose some. Okay. And now we're going to get into the dungeon proper for what we're or where we're trying to get to. And 
once I enter, I'm actually going to call this stream here. Or video, depending on your perspective. But I will see you guys all later.